Now, running a scout vehicle, a recon vehicle, or whatever you want to call it, is one of the most challenging things you can do because you have no armor, you have very little health, everything they shoot at you and hit you will do damage to you, and you will most likely don't have a weapon where you can penetrate the enemy's frontal armor, so you need to work sides, you need to work mobility, hard cover, vertical cover, and so on. Uh, on this map, in the first stage, since I've run it a few times, I know that I won't be able to contribute much uh, because the enemy will be most likely facing us uh, in a uh, frontal position and I cannot penetrate the frontal armor. What I will do instead is basically using the speed in order to flank around and take out enemy artillery uh, to provide uh, that service if you will to our team so they don't have to have their armor eaten by artillery which they can't do anything about in this location. And as you can see, here is the problem, even with a track vehicle, um, to drive around. And here is the enemy artillery. targets for them. I'm positioning myself in such a way that uh, was the Terminator at the uh, angle. You saw how important it was to have a hard cover nearby that I could retreat into. What I like to do here, uh, especially with the recon vehicles, to have its machine gun or auto cannon uh, located at the end of the uh, tank, is simply to back out into a firing position because I'm positioning less of my tank than if I would do the opposite. And if I need to bug out, I can just press the forward key and zoom away. Now I can't really engage these targets too much simply because I'm in a bad advantage position to do so because I don't have that gun depression on my gun. I am however spotting them and getting spotting damage when uh, my teammates are shooting them. And as you can see, properly deployed, the other cannon can be quite devastating. Now I'm going to take a little bit more of a forward position uh, to keep spotting targets for them and keep getting spotting damage. And here we have an Abrams in the open, circling it to his rear. And now my tool is basically doing as much damage as possible and use my ability in order to basically outrage his uh, the turret traverse which is basically the speed at which he can turn his turret which I successfully did the Terminator driver I cannot outrun and I'm in a bit of a pickle I have vertical cover uh, against these guys not quite so for the Terminator Now I'm using the scout special ability and now I have laced the target and I don't need to uh, hold in that ability anymore, it's set. So as you can see now it has another 10 seconds visible, uh, regardless if it's visible or not, and I do full damage when I hit it. If you really want to really really learn where uh, all the tanks weak spot is, this is an excellent way to go if you can survive due to your low penetration values. So 
as you can see, I'm just backing up the gun enough so I can actually shoot the target, and uh, therefore I don't expose so much to myself based on how much shoot at you they do decide to shoot me. Which is all happened there, and they actually. Now the Terminator is shooting at me, but he can't really hit my turret because it's not really accurate. Babes, are you downloading or something? Okay, thank you. This is also a map where uh, the secondary uh, objectives located at uh, India Juliet 01 is down here. It's really, really hard to get. And that's why it's not even worth it unless you have a really solid team, really solid tank, you really know what you're doing to go after them. I do encourage you to try, just don't be hung up if you get killed or don't get it. is uh, I was faced with a lot of uh, armor targets, hard targets that I can't really penetrate and then uh, a BMD came up on me, or sorry BMP, and he shoots uh, high explosive rounds and I actually had my engine caught fire and that fire killed me. So that just uh, proves how difficult it can be to run scout people and the importance of either having distance, hard, or vertical cover. As you can see here, we have another armored fighting vehicle, the BMD-4, which is basically a beefed version of the scout. Um, he's having hard cover nearby here, and the rocket can actually retreat down into the river if it has to. And he's basically doing what I should be doing. I basically got caught out in the, into the open, overexposed. Basically artillery. <laughs> 